Hi, I'm Shani Ferguson from just outside Jerusalem. Sirens on the northern and the southern borders in Israel today are the notifications all over everyone's phone in Israel. Uh, Hezbollah, you know what the news was saying that if there was nothing going on on the southern border, the news would be nonstop about what's happening up north. It's just that what is happening down south is so intense that it's drowning out what is potentially going to be a huge fight on the Lebanese-Israeli border with Hezbollah. In the meantime, what Israel is saying is that they still believe there are terrorists from two weeks ago on Shabbat that infiltrated into Israel and they're hiding out in different locations. They did just arrest someone in a village down south with the suspicion that he was housing one of the terrorists. They also found a terrorist on their way back to Gaza. Um, and so there are terrorists among us. Currently around the world, there are many, many pro-Hamas rallies and protests against Israel taking place. And this is why this is a problem for you. Because at which point it comes to your doorstep and no longer matters if you love Hamas or if you hate Hamas or if you love Palestinians or if you hate Israel, it doesn't matter because they're not coming to you to ask if you are pro or against them. They will come with their same terrorist activities and attack all over the world. That is why supporting Israel in the fight against Hamas will only do you good. Just today, Egypt and Jordan met together and decided they were going to call for a ceasefire. And this is the wall that Israel hits every time they try to go into Gaza and take out this evil core that is terrorism, that is Hamas. Thankfully, this round, the atrocities were so bad that there are there is a lot of support internationally. But usually, this is this is the place that Israel reaches and then has to pull back and wait until Hamas does something else terrible. Currently, the body count in Israel is over 1,400. That includes Jews and Arabs and Bedouins and Druze. The number of kidnapped is over 200. There are still hundreds of bodies that have not been identified. They haven't been identified because it's virtually impossible to identify them from the remains that are left from the attacks on 7th of October. Please understand what we're dealing with will only spread if it isn't stopped here. Israelis are coming together. Eva, I saw today on on TV, there's a couple of girls, they're young teenagers, and they started a whole babysitting network for families whose uh, husbands or wives have gone out to fight. And, and the 300,000 Israeli refugees are very much in need of babysitting. And so there is a whole babysitting network and teenagers are doing what they can. Everyone is doing what they can. Thank you for doing what you can. We've been running all over the country, getting equipment for soldiers, everything from solar chargers so that they can be in touch with their families to sweatshirts to keep them warm at night because the desert gets really, really cold. So thank you for being a part. Thank you for giving. Thank you for writing. I'm Shani from Jerusalem.